Comrades, I bring you greetings from probably the nastiest election that I've seen in my lifetime. We have victory for a misogynist, for a liar, for a racist, for somebody who deliberately uses racism to stir up hatred. And he is the representative of the capitalism of Trump and the speculators. He has succeeded despite the best left-wing manifesto since 1945. Corbyn is a comrade. Please don't listen to any of the nonsense about him being racist or anti-Semitic. They are simply lies pumped out like George Orwell described in 1984. And the press, and particularly the BBC, have been a propaganda machine as we've never seen in Britain before. There were thousands of young, keen socialists pounding the streets of the marginal constituencies trying to win it for the left. Make no mistake, this is a defeat larger than the defeat of Thatcher, that, well, when Thatcher came in. The working class in Britain, in many areas, are living in gross poverty, and they voted Tory. They voted Conservative. The link between the Labour Party and Socialism, between Socialism and the class, has been broken in many areas. I'm from Liverpool. We weigh the Labour votes, and we weigh the Labour votes to give fantastic majorities, but that's because of our history of struggle. In other areas, whether old mining areas, the break has been profound with the ideas of socialism. That's a major thing to have to rebuild. And we're here, for all we could be well, well you know, managed at home with lots to do to discuss over this issue. We're here because we see the role that you play, that Europe plays in the struggle against this reaction, because the reaction is not just in Britain, the reaction is Europe-wide. The reaction is reflected in what's happening in other parts of the globe. This is a profound historical moment, and one that's going to take many, many months to fully digest, to work it out. Labour, on local level, had implemented austerity and broken the link with class struggles. We've seen terrible cuts implemented by the right wing of the Labour Party in certain areas. But Corbyn was different. Corbyn was seen as the opportunity for socialism, for working class rights to be brought back. The level of inequality in Britain, the capacity for the right to do exactly as they choose, is a profound problem for all of us, and we will be rebuilding and trying to rebuild. We welcome our links with the, left, with, um, with the European left as an opportunity to do that, an opportunity to show to the young socialists and the older ones like me who are still campaigning that it isn't all about one, about one country, that this is a major European-wide problem. It's directly from Donald Trump's playbook. 88% of the adverts the Conservative Party funded on Facebook have been proven to be lies. That's not by us, that's by independent observers. 88% of what they put on Facebook were lies. And they were personally targeted lies. They used the Cambridge Analytics system. They found people, individual people and sent them separate um, e separate Facebook messages that nobody else would have seen. Johnson said in the last days of the election, Johnson, remember, comes from a migrant family himself. EU migrants have been able to treat the UK as if it's part of their own country for too long. 
He is whipping up hatred against the more than two million EU citizens living in Britain. And of course, we've seen the Windrush scandal under Theresa May, where British citizens were deported to the West Indies on the basis of their ancestry in the Windrush scandal. People have been denied medical treatment, although to officially the NHS is um, f uh, free to all. We will see a loss in workers' rights. We will see the wonderful young people who've campaigned on the issue of keeping up the climate dismissed. We are facing a Trump-style government in Britain, and it is going to Time, be please. extremely serious. We depend on your solidarity and on your understanding that this is not just Britain, this is Europe.